Last night, I had a really strange dream. I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. There was no money left since I had already bought so many things. So then a policeman came and This chatterbox won't stop talking. I don't even know what she's talking about. All the buttons in the store. And of course, how am I supposed to sew with this tight thimble and prickly needle? I hope we're heading home soon. It's almost tea time. Alfred, huh? are you listening to me? I said, which one shall I buy, the blue or the green? I can't help you there. Sorry to tell you this, but you're very inconsiderate. The breeze is picking up. That cute little jacket I bought sure would come in handy now. Excuse me, Miss Giraffe. Would you like to dance with me? To dance? Hmm. Oh, no way. No, I don't dance. <laughs> Oh, don't cry. I'm sure you'll find someone to dance with you. Nobody will dance with me because I'm all alone. And when the wind blows, I'd like to dance with another flower. Today's your lucky day, little Miss Flower. I'm going to go get my friends now, and we'll come right back to help you. Really? Thank you so much. You're a nice giraffe. Well, yes, nice and elegant. I'll be right back. How's it going? Please, everyone, come here. This is really important. I've got to tell you something super important that just happened to me. I just forgot. Wow, I can't remember. Uh, let me think. I was with Alfred, telling him about my dream, and... Uh, oh, I've got it! I'll tell you about my dream. Well, I was shopping at the finest shops in the world, and just when I was getting ready to pay, I noticed my wallet was empty. <laughs> Forgive me for interrupting you, Rita, but what are you talking about? My dream? What's the matter? You want to hear it again? No, no, please don't. Once was more than enough for me. I thought you were going to help the poor flower that you met. Oh, yeah, the flower. I totally forgot about her. Olga, we've got to help move that flower to a new spot. Let's go and see that flower. Hello, Miss Flower. What's the matter? Nobody dances with me because I'm all alone. And when it gets windy, I just wish I could dance with somebody next to me. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. We are going to replant you right next to the other flowers so you can dance with them whenever you like. Thank you so much. You are all so nice. That's very easy. You just cut the flower and put it next to the others. No, 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 no. You can't do that. If you cut me, I would die in less than a day. You have to take me out of here by digging a hole in the ground right below me so that you don't cut my roots. Don't you worry, Miss Flower. I've been gardening for a long time, and I know just how to do it. Olga, pass me a shovel, please. I don't know where it is. I think we left it near the swings. Rita, could you do me a favor and go get the shovel? Yeah, right, since I've got nothing better to do. Please, go on, Rita. It'll just take a moment. We'll stay here and keep Miss Flower company. All right, I'll go. <laughs> Let's see, now where do I find the shovel? Let me think. I believe it's under the slide. No, it's not under here. Maybe it's by the swings. Not here either. What bad luck. Uh, maybe, oh I know, it must be in the sandbox. Yay, I finally found it. I found it. It was right where I thought it would be. Okay, now I'm going to replant her. Hey, no way. I want to do it all by myself. She's my friend. But Rita, it's very complicated. If you do it wrong, the flower will die. Hmm. I don't want to discuss it with you. Either I do it, or the flower stays here forever. Milo, don't worry. I'm sure Rita will do the best she can. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. All right, as you wish. 
Rita, be very careful. You need to dig a hole just below the flower, but leave a little bit of space so that you don't cut the roots. Don't worry, this is easy as pie. Very easy. Slowly, slowly. I don't even want to look. Like that, well done. I've got it. See how easy? Very good. Now you have to put her with the other flowers. Very carefully, Rita. Thank you so much, my friends. Now I'm the happiest flower in the garden. And now let's all dance. Moo Moo, Talalo, come quick. We're all going to dance together. Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical, however strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish, Moo Moo. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I... I saw a rat! What? Please help me! I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical! I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, <laughs> would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please. A rat. See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Oh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm going to have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh! But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. Ow! 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 You know what? We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Moo Moo until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Moo Moo until Moo Moo just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. That seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. I'm tired of being on top of this slide for so long. I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now.
Please help me! A giant rat, ugly and furry, he wants to eat me! Somebody please help me! Please help me! Just do it. Just do it. But quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm going to go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how could you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun and beautiful fangs, and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him, and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly, and that our eyes were too far apart, and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it! it. I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. 
Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall. So when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us, we'll hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this lion's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. I'm so ugly. I'm handsome, I'm handsome. This can't be happening to me. All of a sudden I'm ugly. I must be hallucinating. No! That was great. Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome! Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. <laughs> the lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talala is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> <laughs>